I, I haven't got videos set up down in this workshop, but uh, I'll use my iPad. Right, this thing before me is a guitar valve amplifier that's very unhappy. Um, it's blown fuses and all sorts. The HT rail, or the high voltage side of it, uh, we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, HT winding on here is just under 500 volts. Um, have to respect these very much so, otherwise you're going to end up with a heap on the floor. So, what I do, especially because I work alone, I use a uh, mains isolation transformer. This limits the amount of current one can use from the main, so if you do get a wallet, at least it uh, is not as bad as it could be. Um, working with some of these valve banks, um, especially the older ones, if they haven't been used for a while, capacitors like these tend to go pop if they're uh, a little bit iffy, when you, if you bring the mains up too quick. So I use thing called a Variac. That's a 1950s version of an old Frankenstein one, but it works great. So you can bring the voltages up slowly and just check things like that. Uh, uh, you can check, say, on this one. So you'll have the main transformer will have, I think this one's got several windings. It's got a 6.3 volt heater winding for the output bells and preamp. It's got 5 volt winding for the rectifier because it's direct cathode. So the uh, winding has to be separate. And it has, I think it's 300, not 300. Um, for the plates, sorry, for the rectifier. Um, what else it's got? I think it's got a minus 50 volt uh, bias winding. Um, I think that's it on this one. As I say, it's quite an old machine. It's got a few little problems. Uh, unfortunately, the manufacturers don't seem to want to release a, a circuit, which is making it rather difficult to want to hand-wired ones are a little bit easier to work with but being that it's not it's a bit like a rat's nest trying to follow it but it's uh, original problem was blowing the mains fuse not all the time and uh, not in a vicious way is to say and the original diagnosis was a leaking mains transformer well I stuck it on uh, my little tester machine and it can't find any leaks or shorts on the uh, primary so we're now going to investigate the secondaries and at the moment can't really see a lot we've had a mains cap go or a low voltage cap um, that's what they look like when they pop the clogs it spews its innards all out the top and that was that one there fortunately I cannot get one of these in this size so for the moment I've had to stick in a, a slightly taller capacitor but I've had to lay it over for the moment until I can get one the right size. At least we can get the LT supply working again. This is a hybrid amp so you've got semiconductors for the preamps and there's two valves there and there's some valves this end so it's uh, they're quite a nice amplifier to be honest but like any hybrid, when they go wrong, they tend to be a bit of a pain. But we'll keep you involved with this one as we go along. I'll keep you still for a bit, I don't want to give you too much of a headache. So that's today's little job. Oh, and the other little job I've got to do is I've got a cleaner X board, Xbox, sorry, one S board that uh, have liquid damage and uh, prepared all we can but it's still got a beep on beep off uh, I think we're just going to give it a clean and see if um, we've got anything under one of the chips but as normal we seem to take it forever to get warm and then we'll dump it in right okay I'll uh, get back to yours a bit like that Later, he says, Oh, bloody hell, was that? All oh, right, that's another very act. <laughs> Just fell over it. I'm a danger to myself and others.